This is all about rogue planets in under two minutes. Let's start with explaining what are rogue planets. Rogue planets are exactly what they sound like, planets that just drift through space without orbiting a star. This could happen because they were ejected from their initial solar system due to some gravitational interactions that pushed them out of their orbit. Some of these planets could even have oceans, making them potential places to host alien life. You might be wondering, how exactly do planets become rogue? There are three possibilities. First, as I stated before, the planets could be thrown out of their own solar systems due to gravitational interactions. Second, some massive rogue planets actually form alone as an attempt of a star, but fail to ignite nuclear fusion, which is supposed to keep the star running. This results in a failed star, which becomes a rogue planet. And last, galaxy collisions, or large-scale cosmic events, could occur and disrupt planetary systems, which causes the creation of rogue planets. Now, rogue planets do not shine and are not illuminated by stars, making them hard to detect. So, how do we find them in the dark? Telescopes, of course. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope can detect some weak infrared heat that some large rogue planets emit. We can also detect rogue planets through gravitational microlensing, which is basically when a rogue planet passes in front of a star and bends the light of the star, which creates an observable event. And lastly, why are these planets even important, and what can they teach us? Well, rogue planets help us understand planetary formation, including how solar systems evolve and interact, and even discoveries of exoplanets. Rogue planets also hold a possibility of life. If they can sustain liquid water, then they could host life. Thick atmospheres or subsurface oceans could be present, making life on these planets a possibility. That was all about rogue planets in under two minutes. Thanks for watching.